Hey, hey everyone, I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Anshit Deja. I am working as Senior Software Engineer 4 at Adobe. And let's shoot for solving today's question, which will be 637th question of daily lead code challenges. Also, in case you have any doubt or query or any question for me, do let me know on my Telegram group or the Discord server. Looking out to seeing messages from you. Now let's get back to today's question. What we have is valid palindrome 2. Here in this question, we are given a string S. What we need to check, we need to identify whether that string is palindromic in nature. Also, there is a constraint that is specified. You are free to delete at most one character from it. Let's walk through an example. This string itself is a palindromic string, A, B, A, and we have to return true. We, there is no need of deleting any character from it. Now let's walk through the other example. We have A, B, C, A, and this string is not palindromic in nature. Uh, however, we can make the string palindromic. How? If we delete either B or C. So if we delete B, what do we get? A, C, A. And if we delete C, what do we get? A, B, A. Both of them are palindromic in nature. So let's quickly hop on to the presentation. Lead code 680, valid palindrome 2. It's an easy level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. So I have taken slightly different examples so that you guys get a good hold of the concept. And let's start for solving and checking whether this string is palindromic in nature or not. So in general, how do we identify it? We, give, we take two pointers. The start one points to the zeroth index. The end one points to the last index. And we check whether the characters are here are equal or not. In case they are equal, what do we do? We increment the start pointer to the next position and we decrement the end pointer to the previous position. And we keep on doing the same thing till the time these two elements do not cross. And in, at any step, if we are able to identify that these characters, they do not match, that simply means that the string is non-palindromic in nature. So let's walk through the same example. Now again, we have AA. So what we will do, we'll increment start and we'll decrement E. And again, we see that B is equal to B and both of them point, both the pointers now cross each other as a result of which this, we have completed the entire iteration over the string. Therefore, we can say that this string happens to be palindromic in nature. At any step, had it been the case where the characters did not match, then we would have simply returned false because the string is non-palindromic in nature. So this is the step zero of identifying whether the string is palindromic in nature or not. Now let's move on to the actual question that we have where the question says you are free to delete a single character from the string. So let's take this example. The string that is given to us is G D A B B A G. Let's take two pointers again, the start one pointing here, the end one pointing here. Both these characters are equal. What do we do? It's a happy case. We increment start and we decrement end. Now what do we see? We see that the starting character is not equal to my ending character. That makes up till two cases that we need to check. The first one is either let's assume we are deleting this particular character for a second. And now we, we have to check that the remaining string that we have starting from S plus one up till end is palindromic in nature or not. One possibility is this, that we simply deleted the D character over here. The other possibility could have been you simply deleted this E character from this position and you compare the remaining string whether this particular string is palindromic in nature or not. If any of these two strings are palindromic in nature, I am talking about the substrings right now, one starting from A ending at A, other one starting from D ending at B. If any of these two strings are palindromic in nature, that simply signifies that the entire string turns out to be palindromic after deleting one character from it. So let's start the iteration. In the first go, what we are considering? We are considering this substring starting from A going up till A. So start pointer now points to this position, end pointer points to this position and both of them are equal. Starts get incremented, end get decremented and again both of them are equal and we can simply say that this entire string is palindromic in nature as a result of it, we, we return true from it. Had we calculated the other case, starting from this one ending up till here, you, you can easily see that D is not equal to B as a result of which it, we would have returned false. That's it. So 
the crux of the problem is you need to check over two possible substrings the first one is generated by incrementing s and the other one is generated by decrement e the time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity is constant time so to conclude it further let's quickly hop on to the coding section and see the code live in action here i have created a helper method which is basically telling whether a string starting from the s the start index ending at the end index is palindromic in nature or not so what do we do uh, we simply we start, start a while loop while start is less than end we check whether the character at the starting index is not equal to the character at the ending index we return false with each iteration uh, otherwise with each iteration we are simply incrementing start and decrementing the end pointer that means uh, the starting character is equal to the ending one once we are out of this loop we simply say that it's a happy case the string is palindromic in nature because the negative condition was never met we will be exploiting this helper method to actually find a solution again here i have taken two pointers start pointing to zero and end pointing to the last index while start is less than end as soon as i find out my starting character is not equal to my ending character what do i do i invoke this helper method twice and i take the substring one starting from start plus one end and other one starting from start end minus one because here i have deleted the starting character here i have deleted the ending character that was unequal in nature if uh, we don't see this particular case where the starting character is not equal to the ending one we keep on incrementing the starting pointer or decrementing the ending pointer once i'm done with this loop that means the negative condition was never met as a result of which we simply return true as the happy case so let's try this up time complexity is order of n and space complexity is constant time where n signifies the length of the input string this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you really enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye sayonara